my mini shop vac stopped working. Uh, it's several years old and uh, I really didn't want to replace it. So um, I took it apart, uh, not really with the intention of making a video, uh, but I found what the problem was and I figured uh, it might be helpful to some other people that are having a similar problem. So um, anyway, uh, if you don't know how to take your shop vac apart, uh, there's other videos on how to get down to the motor assembly. Okay, so obviously here's the uh, here's the motor and whatnot, and you know your your basic leads. Uh, some other videos have suggested it might be the power cord. Um, here's the on-off button. Uh, so the uh, the on-off button was not the problem. The power cord's not the problem. And the uh, motor's not the problem. Um, I just kept digging and digging. Uh, I'm not the most handy person in the world. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, um, you know, if you feel like this might be above your range, it, it probably isn't. At least before you go out and spend another, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 bucks on a new Mini. But um, inside of, uh, on the motor assembly here, the problem wound up being with this connection right here. Now, this connection was hidden underneath uh, some uh, some rubber. I guess it's a shrink wrap that the uh, the guys that are real handy with uh, electronics use. Uh, they kind of hide this behind all this uh, rubber shrimp, shrink wrap material. So, in essence, uh, this plastic piece here kind of hides this so you don't see it when you take this apart okay but it felt real flimsy in my hand I'll show you where the other end of this joins up so uh, I'll just pan back a little bit so where the power button is right you got your positive and your negative and uh, this comes around and uh, it's supposed to join up I'll try and get a different angle on this it's supposed to join up when you need a third hand, right? It's supposed to join up with the tip over here. You guys get the idea. Okay, and underneath that black cover, and again, you have to cut it away to see this whole assembly piece here, okay? And this tiny little tip on here, on this end here, connects up to this tiny little tip on here. Oh boy, I'm trying to do this through the camera. Anyway, it was going well until then, right? And that's what makes the whole thing work. Okay, so anyway, you guys will just have to trust me on this, okay? On mine, it snapped. And uh, when I took off the rubber piece, uh, I didn't cut it off, um, meaning I didn't cut this on my own. It, it was broken inside. And then, so how to, how to make sure, of course I plugged it in. I turned on the on switch. And then when I touched this end to this end, voila. The motor came to life so uh, I just have to solder these two ends back together again and uh, it'll work uh, you'll just have to trust me on that but it does and um, my issue now is I have to get a soldering tip for my old Radio Shack soldering iron uh, so uh, that's my next project because it's not really the easiest thing to find but anyway hope this works for you it worked for me and uh, good luck